I've been trying to run for a while now, like a couple weeks. I grew up with asthma where I had to get breathing treatments, take an inhaler before gym, steam bathrooms and sit and run AC units and play with the little mouthpiece thing that sounds like a harmonica. After middle school, I grew out of it, quote unquote, but it comes up every now and then. And since I've been trying to run recently, for some reason, it happens and it brings up emotions when it happens. And I'm just thinking about that. Trauma doesn't have to be physical abuse in that sense or verbal or whatever the thing is. It's in the body. The body keeps the score. So when I would have asthma attacks, I thought I was dying. And I also couldn't play like the other kids because I would have to sit out. I couldn't go as hard as I wanted to. So now thinking about it, that's like a subconscious thing for me. When I move my body and exercise, sometimes I'll get emotional because I'm processing things out of my body. I'm not staying in my mind. I move my body and it makes you breathe a certain way and you have to pay attention where your surroundings and things like that. So you don't have time to be in your head as well. At a certain point you enjoy it. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to talk about that because people don't know your story unless you share it. And uh, people may see me doing a lot of physical activities. I could do a handstand now. I never thought I would. I started like a year ago and uh, started with headstands. That just happened because I, I pay attention. I listen to my body and that's my diet as well depends on the season and how my body is and what I need to do everything like that but I was just going through it struggling to breathe trying to run like I said for some reason that's just what I'm feeling called to do right now and run a little longer every time I just do little short sprints the other day it was because it was really hot that definitely will set it off but today it's not that hot the breeze is blowing it feels good out here actually it's early in the morning and uh, it started to come up so I wanted to make this video because you may be making up excuses and telling yourself a story that's not true. And it could also be from something subconscious that you're not even aware of. And so you can't fix something you're not aware of. Awareness is the key. And then from there, it's what you do with that, which is usually learn knowledge. And then from that, you actually have to implement the knowledge. That's the real power and uh, consistent action at that point. And uh, then it's sustaining that in a healthy way. So look, y'all stay strong out there. Stop making excuses. You got some keys to help you get started today. And I hope that they help. Let me know what action you're taking this week towards your goals or your dreams. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.